and Ketsu this week. This week we're going to be teaching you how to make your own homemade chia pudding. Mm. How yummy does that sound? That's what we're going to do all for the month of March. We're going to be teaching you how to make healthy snacks that you can make at home and they're super delicious, they're super healthy. Yeah, and you know what? There's no exception this week. With our chia pudding, you're not only going to have a snack which is absolutely divine and super yummy, but it's so nutritious for you. That's exactly what we want. We don't want any temptation going out of the house thinking, oh, I want to eat something and go to the shop and get chocolate. Mm. No. No way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got only a few ingredients for this chia pudding, one of them being chia seeds. You've probably heard about them everywhere. Everyone's talking about it as a new superfood, but what are they really good for? Well, chia seeds are a great source of fiber, which we all need. Chia seeds are also very, very rich in omega-3, which is amazing for your brain health. I personally need to cut back. <laughs> so, <good. laughs> so intelligent, that one. <laughs> We're also going to be adding almond milk to this delicious pudding. And almond milk's amazing because it's rich in protein and iron, which is great because I'm veggie, so I need all the protein and iron I can get. But in addition to that, it's got vitamin E in it. And vitamin E is amazing for your skin. So who doesn't want to have good skin and eat pudding? <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> Total no-brainer. <laughs> so what we need is we need one litre of almond milk. So we're going to put that into our blender first. So next we're going to add some maple syrup, which is just a natural sweetener. We're going to add three tablespoons of this. So just be really careful, just <laughs> pour it. <laughs> we had a little accident earlier, that's what I'm saying this. So just be careful, because maple syrup is a lot more runnier than honey, okay? And so the, the hole is usually not that big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah, you only want a little bit of it. In yeah, so about three tablespoons. You don't want to add too much because the whole idea of this is that it's going to be a healthy snack for you guys. And when you start adding too many things, even if they're healthy sweeteners, they do start messing up your blood sugar levels. So just about three tablespoons, no more than that. You know what cheese seeds are really good for? Balancing your blood sugar levels. There you go. So you actually don't even worry about it. Add loads. <laughs> Great. And Next, we're going to add in our vanilla. Now, because we have a vitamin, it's very powerful, so we can add in the whole vanilla stalk. But if you if you don't have a vitamin, don't worry, just get some vanilla essence, or maybe you can even get the vanilla stalk and just carefully peel it open and take out all your vanilla beans. We're just going to chuck the whole thing in there because we want it to be extra vanilla-y. Vanilla is another really good thing. If you have sugar cravings, eat vanilla because vanilla takes away all your sugar cravings. It's like and it's win -win. delicious and it's so good for you. So we're going to blend this up now before we've added the chia seeds, if you notice. Oh yeah! <laughs> Ta-da! And then you add the chia seeds in after that. So it's quite an important step because you don't want to mill the chia seeds too much. So then we'll just whiz that up for another 10 seconds. 10, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Now, so when you hungry. open this up, this is going to smell divine. Oh, that smells like proper pudding. Oh, lovely. Ooh. So what you want to do after you've poured in your mixture into the bowl is you're going to give it a little bit of a stir. Look how pudding it is. It's so good. And then you're going to leave it for about five minutes, come back, give it another stir. Come back in ten minutes, give it another stir. And then maybe one more time, leave it ten minutes and give it another stir. Just that it becomes really thick and really set and really like proper pudding. So once you have stirred it within that half an hour about three times and you can really see it's become a pudding like texture, um, you can then put it in little containers or you can put it in like mason jars and just store them in the fridge. Quite cute for dinner party yeah. as well because look we've got these in these little bowls right, these little glass bowls and then we're going to just sprinkle some cacao nibs on top or you can add some maybe like passion fruit onto there mm. or like chop up banana, Beautiful. you can different types of fruit so you can add your own you know toppings whatever you feel for that day. Yeah, add your own spin to it, get creative! Yeah. Let's try some now! Yeah. Yum, yum, yum. This is the best part. This is why we decided to do mm. a snacks for March, so uh, we could just eat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for watching our video this week. Remember to keep watching the whole month of March to get lots of healthy snack treaty ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so if you subscribe to our channel on YouTube, you get this every single week, and we've got plenty coming your way, so don't forget to do that. All right, guys. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Three tablespoons. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> oh my god, that was so funny. <laughs> yes, let's put the bowl in. I think that's three now. <laughs> Three 
tablespoons of food. <laughs> okay, we can do it. We can do we it. Can do it. <laughs> Give that nice little bit of a sweeter texture to it as well. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I think you need to do the maple syrup. Okay. So this is just a little natural sweetener. You don't want too much. <laughs> Okay, yes. Let's see, I'm thinking Let's about a bad go. thing. It's making me laugh. <laughs>